If you are looking for the best screen recorder to capture your Windows desktop, you came to the right place. In this video, I'm going to present you Action, the screen recorder I use to record my tutorials. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. We have a lot of contents here and more coming every week. Hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. I'm going to leave the link for this application in the description of this video so you can go download, try out and share your experience with this application in the comment section. Without further ado, let's dive into the application. If you open Action for the first time, you get this getting started guide so you get more familiar with the application which has some cool tips. I'm not going to focus on this window so I'm going to close it. If for some reason you close it, you can open again by coming here to help where you get again this getting start guide. So this is the main action window. On the left you get all your recordings and on the right side you have access to all the settings. Now here on the right side you have video recording, live streaming, audio recording, screen capture, benchmarking and general settings about the application. On this tutorial, I'm going to focus on a video recording, audio recording, and settings. I'm going to start with video recording. In capture mode, you have game, screen, area, and device. Game allows you to record your game session, and screen allows to record your desktop screen. Area allows to record in a specific area of your desktop. And if you click on device, it allows you to record an external device connected to your computer. Let's go deep on details about screen recording. Once you select screen, you will get below more settings that you can adjust. For example, on file format, you have two options. You can select AVI and MP4. I like to record my screen on AVI file format. Then you have hardware acceleration. In this case, if you select AVI, you don't have the option to change your hardware acceleration. But if you choose to select MP4, you have down here the option to change your hardware acceleration. For example, in my case, I have Intel QuickSync Video. I don't have a dedicated graphic card. If you have a dedicated graphic card, right here, when you click on this arrow, you have here the option to select your dedicated graphic card. I'm going to change it back to AVI. Then you have video size. On video size, if you click here, you have lots of options. Depending on the resolution of your desktop, you will get more options than I have it here. You can select original if you want to record your screen taking in consideration the resolution of your desktop or you can select any of this video size format that I have here. I like to keep mine on 1080p. Video frame rate. I like to record my screen on 60 FPS because it gives me that smooth movement of the mice on the screen. But you have a lot of options here. If you click on this arrow, you will get lots of frame rates that you can change. Depends on your region and depends on what you are doing. You can select 24, 25, 30 FPS or more than this. Then you have active screen. If for example, your computer is connected to two screens, you have the possibility here to change the screen you want to record. I'm recording this tutorial on my laptop. And for that reason, I have only one desktop connected here. But if you have more monitors connected to your laptop, you will have here all the monitors available. And then from here, you can select which monitor screen you want to record and then select it. Now here you have primary sound device, which is the device is going to record your voice. I keep mine always here on primary. If you come here, you have system default. If you click here, you have lots of more options available. If you want to record, for example, using your internal microphone, you click on here. If you don't want, just leave the way it is, system default. Here at the bottom, you have volume. 
This volume, you have the possibility to adjust it. I like to keep this volume all up to 100% because I do my post-processing on Adobe Audition where I have more control to the sounds. Then you have your secondary sound device. Most of the time I have this not selected, but if you have an external mic connected to your computer, you can check on it. For example, at this moment that I'm recording this video, I have a mic connected to my computer. So I'm going to click here and then click on this arrow to open more options. And then I'll click here, which represent the headset mic that I have connected to my computer. If you want to have more controls to your audio, you can click here on settings and this window will appear. Here you have recording mode. I always keep this on always record, but you can change. You have all these options down here. And then you have record microphone into separate audio track. I like to keep this checked because I want my audio separated from my video. And then here you have the chance to balance your audio. Always keep it on stereo because I like to have the sounds on the left and on the right. But if you don't want that, you just move this to adjust your sound. If you click here, you're going to reset to the default settings. Then you have here microphone off delay. Most of the times I don't make any changes here. And then here you have noise reduction. I don't use noise reduction because as I said, I do most of the post processing on Adobe Audition where I have more control. Then you have here enable, disable addition audio recording in separated audio file. Most of the time I have this unchecked. You can record your webcam. If you want to record your webcam, click on here to record your webcam. If you have an overlay graphics that you would like to put on your recordings, you click in here and you come here, locate the file you want to select it. And then you have duration. You can set the duration of your recording here. You can go in more detail here, for example, on application. If you click on application, you have the possibility to record only an, a specific application instead of the old screen that you have open. For example, I'll have here my Adobe Audition where I'm recording my audio. If you just want to record any specific application, you click here to select and then boom, it's okay. Most of the times I don't use all these options, so I keep them unchecked. Well guys, these are the settings I use when I want to record my screen. Now let's go and click on game. I don't play games on my computer, but here you also have the option to change the settings according to your preference. All the settings you have seen on the screen, you have it here. For example, file format, hardware acceleration, video size, video frame rate, time shift. I don't know exactly how time shift works because I don't use it, but if you know, leave that in the comment section so i can learn how it works and the other guys too and then you have here primary sound device secondary sound device and a bunch of settings down below where you can adjust to record your game session one thing that i've seen that people likes to record is their reaction using the webcam if you want to record yourself using a webcam click on here to select it to get more settings about the webcam, click here on webcam settings. Here you have the possibility to tweak a little bit more your webcam settings. If you click on area, you will get this green square. Here you have the ability to adjust the size of the square so you can record in a specific portion of your desktop. If you come here on this arrow, you can use the available preset, but you can as well change the available preset and create your own presets. Once you've finished, click on this X. Well guys, these are the settings that I use when I want to record my desktop. Now let's go to audio recording. Here you have audio device. You can select which device you want to use to record your audio. Most of the time I leave it the way it is, system default, but if you click here, you have more options. 
in which you can select. Then you have output format. I leave it the way it is, wave format, which is the best format for me. And then you have duration. You can set the duration of your recording. I always keep my microphone on always record, but you can come here and change it. Always check allow multi-channel audio recording and record silent. I always keep these settings checked. Now let's talk about the general settings. Come here to this gear and click on it. Here you have more general options for the application. At the top you have general, video, audio, HUD, export and hotkeys. I'm going to focus here on the settings that I use the most and I will not go in more details about all of them, which I believe you can google it to find more details about it. Language, you know language. Automatically check for updates, start application, minimize, I always keep this checked. I always check on hide action. For example, when I click record, I don't have to click here to minimize. Once the record start, it will hide himself. Run action when windows start. Enable action, RCU. This, it's like a remote control, which allows you to connect your Android device with your application on a desktop so you can pause and resume your recording using your Android device. I don't use it. Delay recording, this is the countdown before it starts recording. I set this to five seconds. And then I've clicked here to hide preview on recording or streaming. If we come here to video, I keep my video in high quality, always on ultra, but when you click here, you have low, normal, high. The bit rate, I always keep this to 100%. I leave the force bit rate the way it is. Input rate, I've never changed this. Use multiple recording, record mouse cursor, I always keep that checked. Visualize mouse clicks and um, use hardware resolution for video recording. I don't use those, so I keep this unchecked. If you come to audio, as always, I've keep this checked, record audio, and these two, I don't touch on those. But for example, if you come here to AC, AAC settings, if you click here, you can change the bit rate. You have a bunch of bit rates here, which you can change depending on what you're doing. And then you have hotkeys. You have a bunch of hotkeys here, which you can use to facilitate your life while using the application to record your videos. Most of the times I don't use the hotkeys available here because I have the same hotkeys being used on a lot of application. And if you have two application with the same key, one of them will not work. So I leave the hotkeys here available the way it is. One last bonus that I think is very important to you to know is for each capture mode you use to record your videos, you have the possibility here to change the folder where your videos are going to be stored. For example, if I click screen, you will notice here on the folder path that I have it to be saved on screen recorder folder on my D drive. But if you come here to audio recording, you will notice that the folder changes. Since I'm not using this to record any voice, I keep this as default the way it is. And if you go to screen capture, you will notice that the folder is different as well as for benchmarking, the folder is different. Video recording and live streaming, they use the same folders. Keep that in mind. If you want to save your files directly on a different drive, you can come here, click on these three dots, and find the folder where you want to store your video recordings. I have mine on a D drive here on a folder YouTube and screen recorder. Once you have finished setting up the application, come here to a rack to start and stop recording and or you can click F9 to start the recording or F9 again to stop the recording. When you click REC, as you can see, it starts counting down from 5 to 0 to start the recording process and automatically it hides the application. If you want to stop the recording, just click F9 to stop it. Now here at this side where your files are, you will see here the latest video recording that the application has saved. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something and if you did, 
give a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you have any issue leave that in the comment section i'll do my best to respond to you thanks for watching